Well, guys, I'm back to my Pokemon Stadium playthrough. And going back to the Gymnia Castle after beating Giovanni, I got all the badges. It's now time to take on the Elite Four. As here we go. Got my team all set up as this is going to be a challenge. So anyways, this is the team as you've all seen throughout the series, of course. Alakazam, which will be useful against Bruno and Agatha. Plus Lance too. Actually, wait. Now I think of it, Alakazam is super effective to everyone. And then we get to um, Starmie, of course. And then Nido Queen. I don't think I've used yet. Lapras, Persian, and Snorlax. This is the best I can think of for the upcoming battles. So here we go. And this is going to be very interesting to come up to because he doesn't show up here. But once you beat the Elite Four, you have to face Blue. And if you lose the Blue, you have to restart all over again just like with the normal games and the thing is with blue in this game blue has seven teams a team if you use only rentals which doesn't apply here because i'm using imports and then he has three separate teams for red and blue and three separate teams on yellow based upon your starter well of course red and blue depend on your starter and yellow of course his team would change based upon what his Eevee would evolve into. But of course, that requires battling the first two times. And I didn't do that in this yellow game. All I did was get um, Oak's Parcel delivered, got the Pokedex, went back to Viridian City, healed up, and saved, and I never touched it since months ago. So, I never battled him the second time, so I have no idea what his team's going to be. Who knows, the game might do something stupid, because I never battled him the second time, and the game's not going to probably know what to do. I have literally no idea. So, yeah gonna have to hope good things happen okay so I'm gonna start for this game for against um Lorelei I'm actually gonna start with Starmie Alakazam and Lapras Starmie and Lapras will resist all the ice and water moves and they have Thunderbolt and such so they should have no trouble around here and I'm gonna start with Jinx so there goes the Thunderbolt weakness um I think I think I think water is neutral to ice back then too, just like how ice is neutral to fire. So let's see. Yeah, it's neutral. Alright, good hit. Well, that's not going to help right here. Yeah, physical. Physical. But guess what? Every one of my team has special moves, so that reflect has no value whatsoever. Now if you did light screen, then we'd be talking about a different story. Damn it, held on. Oh god. Oh no, miss, miss. I don't need to sleep and crap. Oh, thank god, miss. Man. Man, I remember when I faced Lorelai, I would start off with Electabuzz, because that was my main member. And she's switching out. Yep, switching out. So now they're going to probably resist Surf. Alright, Brawl Dugon, who's going to resist Surf. Yeah, I know for my team, I took on the Elite Four, I used Al um, Electabuzz. And Electabuzz, honestly, underappreciate. Electric type for this game, at least for level 100s or level 50, I think it is right here. Has Thunder Punch, which is a really good move, and has Thunder Wave, so has a good move and Thunder Wave too, and still good speed special. Damn it! Hold on. Hey, you see these Pokemon right here are tough. They really go out hard on the Elite Four. They are tough. Ow, a crit. I mean, for crying out loud, Jinx survived two hits and still going. That's how tough we're talking about. And there we go. Dugon's down. Alright, now what will she do? Articuno! Oh, boy! I remember Articuno being a pain to my face there, even with Electabuzz. You know, funny thing, if I'm correct... Blizzard is super effect would be super effective on Articuno, I think, but I'm not going to take the chance even though it's stronger than Thunderbolt, since I know Thunderbolt's super effective. I'm just going to do Thunderbolt since I know that's going to be super effective, but I think Blizzard would actually be super effective also right back at Articuno. And just held on. Well, oh, great Toxic. Alright, well I know Thunderbolt might not be enough. So, you know what? I think this time I'm going to take a chance to see if Blizzard will be super effective. I think there's a chance it could be. Okay, it's neutral. Yeah, okay, it's neutral. Make it sure. 
Bubble Beam, that's not gonna do anything. Should do Blizzard Ice Beam, that's gonna do more damage and has Stab. And we be neutral too, I think. All right, here we go. Thunder Bolt. Well, it would be nice to have that crit earlier. All right. What's left is that Jinx. I was hoping that it maybe it would go. The this battle, I mean, this battle is one side or whatever you said. And I was wondering if it would mess up with the audio, but it didn't. Okay, so Lorelei, a little bit annoying, but she's down. All right, now up Bruno. As his team is pretty similar to his actual team too. All right, so yeah, Alexam super effective. And same with first Starmie. And this might be a bold move. I might actually use Snorlax. I just gotta watch out for the free fighting types with Snorlax, even if it has Psychic and stuff and Amnesia. But I'm vi I, mean, that, I might be curious if that would work. Alright, gonna start off with Golem. Ice Punch is still stronger. 150 over 145 from Stab, Psychic. But of course, it didn't I mean, survive like last time. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out the Starmie. I was actually thinking about maybe setting up Slope, I mean Snorlax, but I decided not to. The Snorlax is pretty bulky, it should survive oh, Dig easily, and I can start setting up Amnesia and all that, and then maybe sweep. But I decide not to. Ow, that was a good hit. And Starmie's more defensive than um, Alakazam, so jeez. Alakazam would probably not survive that hit. Go. Alright, Golem's down. What will the next Pokemon be? And now Rhydon. Another Pokemon with terrible special coming up for a one shot? Here we go. The difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. And now up Onyx. Oh, it's Onyx. Probably the worst member of his team that he brought out, other than Alex um Hitmonchan with no special. The battle has become one He time. literally used rock and ground types. Like seriously. That crit was completely unneeded. All right, so with that out of the way, Bruno down. Now up, Agatha. Yep, there's her team, and of course. I actually think I'm going to start off instead with Starmie. Although I got to be careful with the Venusaur. And then Alakazam. And I think this is kind of risky. But I might take Needle Queen. I just got to watch out for um, um Venusaur who could still do some major damage. And Golbat who will be immune to Earthquake. But I have Thunderbolt but Needle Queen does not have a lot of special. Muck, start off. Hello, middle finger. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we're gonna start with the psychic. Come 
person survived. That's not gonna do too much, I don't think. Well, poison's not nice! Gosh dang it. And I did surf when I do psychic, but surf should be enough. That crit would have been nice earlier. Venusaur, oh boy. This is going to be a little bit of concern. Because this thing has a lot of special on it. Special, nice going down, that helps, but it's not going to take it out here. That is gonna hurt, but not as much because I lowered a special. Ow, the crit though! Not good! Oh god, just held on. And if it won for the lowered special, that might have been enough. Alright, last up. Arbok. Now, if this was Gen 2, you could potentially have Bite and maybe Crunch, we had to worry about, but Bite is no normal back then, and Crunch doesn't exist, so I don't have to worry about that. There we go, Arbok down. Agatha defeated. And now up is Lance. Yep, he's gonna be challenged with his Aerodactyl, his Lapras, his Kangaskhan, and his Charizard too. I'm kind of curious why he didn't have a Dragon Knight though. That would be even better. Okay, um. I'm going to actually start off with Lapras so I can get Stab. And then, um, Starmie and Alakazam. We're coming down to the edge. Here we go, Lapras. The last remaining master of the oh, your own Lapras start off with. Okay. Well, ain't that something? But, of course, mine has Thunderbolt. I don't know about yours. And it looks like mine is a bit stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Paralyzed, let's go! And of course, you're a bulky bastard. Eww, you're on Thunderbolt! <laughs> Pain! Thank God I didn't paralyze. And Lapras, show that Lapras who's boss. You were supposed to get a crit there. Eww, stop it! Stop pulling my Lapras! Stop it! It's painful! Lapras, show that Lapras who's top 100% Lapras around here. Let's go! My Lapras? Best Lapras! Yeah! Although Lapras is not in a good shape after all that battling. Charizard, oh boy. This thing is gonna outspeed. So it's not good. Alright. Actually, I should have done Blizzard. That's super effective. Oh boy. Oh, great. Fire spin. Dang it. I gotta deal with this crap now. But thankfully, I have an option. And for all of you who don't remember, back then, fire spin and other continuous moves like that continue attacking you and you're crippled. You can't do anything. But, I do have options. And if I'm correct, this is Starmie. This is, this will break Fire Spin, swapping out. And Starmie, of course, being faster means I can actually do something. Yep, see? It ended the turn. That breaks Fire Spin. Now, let's go for the super... Actually, no, that actually wasn't smart now because it doesn't have Stab. I went with the Blizzard. It's still going to be super effective, but it's not going to be as effective as Surf would have been. Crit, though, will help out. Thank you. Yep, it still is insane, guys. That ice back then was neutral to fire, and because of that, Charizard is weak to ice. 
time. Last up, Gyarados. Hello, Gyarados! Would you like a Thunderbolt with that quad weakness of yours? Which is why you should have been Water Dragon? That still kind of annoys me that they ne didn't um, have um, Gyarados' Mega be um, Water and Dragon like it should have. But no, they had to do Water and Dark. Hmm. And Gyarados obliterated with that crit too that was completely unneeded. And there we go. Lance is down. Only thing left now is um blue. Now of course, like I said, I do not know what his team will be. I don't even know if the game is gonna even work properly because I've never done this before. And here we go. Take on blue. What will his team be? I have no idea. Okay, it's Flareon team. Cause probably don't remember. Um That is his um actual team, I think, in yellow as well. For the Ely 4. So anyways, in yellow, of course, his starter is Eevee. He evolves it based upon your first two battles. If you be in both times it'll become Jolteon. If you lose both times it'll become Vaporeon, but if you split it becomes Flareon. So I guess me not doing a second battle counts. Okay, this is going to be a challenge. This is a balanced team, almost. I... Oh, gosh. I think... Mm, Lapras has the, the Blizzard um, stab, but it's not as fast as Starmie. So that could be a little bit of an issue if I run into, like, um, Executor. No, Magneton. Ugh, I'm going to take a chance. I'll do Starmie. Which will at least get rid of... I'll get rid of Flareon, Cloyster, and Sandslap. Oh, and Zegator too. All that's left is Alakazam and Magneton. Uh, oh, boy. This is tough thinking. I think I'll go with Alakazam. And I think I might go with Persian for the raw power of Slash. All right, here we go. The take on Blue. This is Brilliant, the final battle against the rival. This is the final battle. And going to start with an Alakazam. In the gym leader castle. They strike fighting poses. All right, Surf. Secret attack. A decent hit. Okay, that's going to be 100 damage. I think overall it's going to do more damage. No, I did more damage. That's a good move for Alakazam if need be. 100 damage guaranteed. But I'm going to still keep you out here. He's, switch, he's switching out. Probably going to send out Exeggutor or Cloyster. Okay, Exeggutor. Not good. But the one good thing about Exeggutor is its terrible moveset is going to help me. All it has in terms of grass with it do damage back then is Solar Beam. That's it. That requires a turn to set up. That's why Executor is very good later on and competitive, at least for me. But right now, even though I wanted a game with it before multiple times in this game, without a good grass move besides Solar Beam, it's just not that good. As Sol Executor goes down, and thank you for the crit. Got Alakazam, and then next up, up can bring back out Alakazam. Pokemon count is three to two. This battle is still up in the air. Ride that surf. Here we go. Seismic toss again. What it's gonna do a hundred damage. Good hit. What a furious battle! All right, Surf. Hopefully, to finish off Alakazam. How's that? So, because of that, I have a feeling he's going to have Sand Slash or Flareon last members, since they're weak. Or Cloyster, potentially. Cloyster can be possible, but I think it's going to be Flareon or Sand Slash. And it's going to be... Yep, Flareon. Good, and Flareon has no special. It's it's one of those... It's like um a worse version of um, Rabidash. All tech, but no special, which is terrible for a fire type back then. Until Gen 4 with the physical special split. And because of that, Rabidash and Flareon are largely worthless for competitive. And of course it survived despite its terrible freaking special. And that's going to hurt though. 
A lot of attack, remember, so Bystand's gonna do major damage. Here we go with the Surf. There we go! Yay! I cleared the Gym Leader Castle! Let's go! Yay! I cleared it. Good job, everyone. Starmie. Alakazam. Persian. Who I didn't even use. Neo Queen, who I also didn't use. Lapras, who tanked like a boss. And Snorlax. Alright, now. That's good and all. However, there's a menace out there. There's lights. Oh yeah, that's right! Clearing the gym leader castle gives me a Pokemon, and it's gonna give me Omanyte! Alright! For all of you that don't know, in Stadium, when you beat the gym leader castle, you get one random Pokemon. And that is, if I remember correctly, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Omanyte, Kabuto, and, I and Eevee, and I think that's it. So this is one way you can get one of the Pokemon without trading. Now, it's random though. So hey, I got an Omanyte. So now I gotta go back to the Oak's lab to get Omanyte in yellow. Which I might go off screen and do that later on. But of course, now we're at night because there's a new presence in the sky. A dangerous threat that we're gonna have to take care of. But that's gonna have to wait until next episode. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. See you all next time.